How to add a farmer to DCT. Your local partner should assign farmers to you through the local partner web app. Farmer profiles may already appear in the farmer overview page, or you may need to add a new farmer profile. Adding a farmer profile and their plot to the DCT app will take a few steps, including a required signed participant agreement, signed data consent form, their farm details, and plot collection. It's best to do these steps with the farmer for accuracy. Create a new farmer profile. To add a new farmer and their plot to the DCT app, go to the Farmer Overview page. Tap on the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner or on Add a Farmer. Fill in the farmer's first name, last name, and village before tapping Create Farmer Profile. You will be taken to their new profile page where you will see what information is missing. Start by collecting the Farmer's Participant Agreement. Farmers must sign their participant agreement in order to start data collection. The participant agreement is between the local partner and the farmer. The farmer must understand and sign this document in order to participate in the ACORN program. If he or she has any questions, they can contact their local partner. Tap on Awaiting Participant Agreement or Missing. There are two different options to collect the participant agreement, on paper or on paper with photo. If you select not available, then you will not be able to complete the rest of the collection and the farmer will not be able to participate in the ACORN program. If you select on paper with photo, you take a picture of the agreement and you won't need to bring back a copy for your local partner. For the photo option, Tap on On Paper with Photo. You will need to take clear photos of the signed participant agreement. To ensure the photos are clear, read the photo tips. There are six pages in total, which means you should have six different photos. When taking photos, skip the cover page. Take a picture of all six pages of the participant agreement individually. Upload one page per photo and ensure that the agreement has the farmer's signature before tapping Submit. For the paper option, tap Available on Paper. The farmer should then sign two copies of the participant agreement. Return one signed copy to the farmer and another copy to the responsible local partner. Data sharing consent is also required for the farmer to be part of the program. The farmer is also allowed to decline or withdraw their consent at any time. However, this also means that they will no longer participate in the ACORN program, nor receive the financial benefits from the program. There are also two different options to collect data sharing consent, paper or digital. For the paper option, Tap on paper. Please ensure the farmer understands the terms and agreements before they give their consent. Two copies must be signed. The farmer keeps one copy and it is your responsibility to bring the other copy back to the local partner. For the digital option, tap digitally. You will still need to ensure the farmer understands the data consent information by reading them the terms or have the farmer read it themselves. Basically, consent explains the purpose of collecting data and Rabobank's use of farmer data. Check all the boxes if the farmer agrees. If the farmer does not provide consent, no more data can be collected. Fill in the farmer's correct date of birth. The farmer must draw their signature directly in the app. Finalize digital consent collection and confirm you followed the procedure by checking the last box and tapping Finish Consent Collection. Farmer Profile Details Once the participant agreement and data consent is collected, you must complete the farmer's profile and update all their details. All missing sections must be accurately filled in. Tap on 
collect all missing data or skip to a specific step by clicking missing. Add the farmer's correct information, including their birth year, household number, land use type, main cash crops, etc. Please ensure to also complete this section together with the farmer, as he or she will be able to give you more accurate details about their farm. When adding the farmer's address details, the village and street must be filled in accurately. Include additional address lines if possible. Double check with the farmer that their contact details are added correctly. Ask the farmer for their details and fill in each line. When assessing the farmer's land type, request information from them if you're unsure. And don't forget to request the farmer's land ownership status. Once these details are updated, double check that all missing details are filled out by tapping Collecting. If all details are added, you can now start plot collection. Adding plot details. To add a plot to the farmer's profile, scroll down to Plots and tap Missing. Add a descriptive plot name and fill in the plot's agroforestry type, as well as the farmer's cooperative. If you have any questions regarding the agroforestry type, cooperative or buyer, you can contact your trainer or local partner. Add up to three cash crops per plot and add in the correct details. You can track the plot right away by clicking Track Plot or Track the Plot Later. Some farmers have more than one plot. You can add multiple plots under one farmer. Under the plot you just created, there is a plus button, which you can tap to add another plot under the same farmer profile. Watch the next tutorial to learn how to add a plot using DCT's auto tracking feature or manual plotting. The link is also in the description box. If you have any questions, contact the DCT team at dct at robobank.com.